Are you thinking about starting your home bakery soon? Watch this video because I'm going to be sharing what I would do if I were to start my bakery from scratch today. If you're new here to the channel, I'm Amanda and I help home bakers market and grow their bakeries. If you want more videos like this, make sure to hit subscribe and click on that bell to be notified whenever I post new videos. Also, if you want to connect with me, make sure to send me a DM on Instagram after you watch this video because that is my favorite place to hang out. So let's talk about today's mini lesson. What would I do if I were to start from scratch today? I would focus on five key areas in this order. Number one, figure out my specialty. Number two, find an easy and efficient way to get orders. Number three, utilize word of mouth. Number four, market on Instagram. And number five, find ways to be at in-person or pop-up events. Now let's break down each of these steps. So number one is figure out your specialty, especially in the beginning when you're first starting out, you want to find a way to really stand out from other local bakers. You want to perfect your specialty and really be known for something. It's easy to want to sell everything and say yes to every single order that comes your way, but this can lead to burnout very quickly and it doesn't really allow you to stand out from your competition. Also, if you are juggling a full-time day job as well as starting your home bakery, it's really hard to find the time to perfect so many different recipes and products. Now, if you're not sure what to specialize in, I've made a video with different types of categories of specialties that can help you brainstorm what you can start offering. You can click the link above or find the video in the description below. All right, number two is to have a very easy way for people to place in order, and most importantly, an easy way for you to get paid. This really is a win-win for both you and your customer. You don't wanna to have to chase down a customer for their payment or a deposit, and you don't wanna make your customer go through so many complicated hoops in order to purchase from you. When the ordering process is easy and efficient, it makes the customer more likely to place a future order with you. All right, number three is to utilize your current community. So have your friends, family, coworkers, neighbors, spread the word about your bakery for you through word of mouth referrals. This is the easiest and fastest way for you to grow. So before you start thinking about only marketing on social media, do this first. Whoever is in your circle, your community, most likely wants to support your business and they can do so by simply just spreading the word about your bakery. You can also make this super easy for them by creating marketing material that they can distribute and share on their own social media pages. You can make business cards for them to hand out. You can give them samples. You can also throw in a little incentive and whoever brings you the most referrals can win a prize or a special custom product. So once you've got those word of mouth referrals going and you're getting those repeat customers, number four is to market your bakery on Instagram so that you can continue connecting with and attract new local customers. Instagram is one of the most powerful social media platforms out there. And if you know how to use it with purpose and intention, you can really build a name for yourself and grow your local community. By the way, if Instagram is something that you're really struggling with, I have a ton of videos and resources that you can check out linked below. All right, last step, sell at in-person events. This can look like farmer's markets, selling at a local coffee shop or boutique. This is a wonderful way for you to grow your local network and not only meet local customers face-to-face, -face, but you can grow your network of local vendors you can potentially partner and collaborate with in the future. Being able to connect a face with a business makes your brand more personable and memorable. And you would be surprised how many opportunities can come out when you do these events. Also, if you need some extra tips on in-person events, make sure to click the video linked above or in the description box below. Okay, so that was my quick five-step process on what I would do if I were to start my bakery from scratch. I'd love to know, are you starting your bakery soon? Let me know in the comments because I'd love to cheer you on and celebrate you. 
Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out all of my other videos and resources linked below and make sure to subscribe, click that thumbs up and send me a message on Instagram after you've watched this so we can connect.